G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're doing an unboxing of uh, the HMS Fly. Uh, it's a Victory model ship, which is uh, basically a Marty, I believe. I believe it's the same company. Uh, it's a 164 scale. It's 81 centimetres in length. It's a um, Swan class ship. Um, and I've got a few things with it. I've got the upgrade set the uh, keel clamp and the paint set that goes with this kit so I'll be doing an unboxing of each uh, thing and I'll um, put some uh, time tabs in the description so you can jump to whichever part interests you so I'll just set up and then we'll start the video okay first up I've got the um, paint set for this ship they're all uh, Admiralty paints we've got a couple of uh, dull blacks a couple of matte whites uh, red okra french blue uh, gold brass ironwork black and yellow okra I don't mind the Admiralty paints because they tend to be touch dry in just a matter of minutes and fully set within about an hour um, and yeah I think they're uh, really good paints so I've got everything you're going to see from uh, Cornwall model ships um, because I simply couldn't find it anywhere else basically so um, yeah there's the paints next we'll go on to the upgrade set Okay, next up we have the uh, Amati HMS Fly upgrade set, which is item number 1900. Let's open that up. First, it comes with um, some plans of what you can do, what's in the um, kit, also how you use different parts. So let's have a look what's in here. We've got some um, sails. What's this? Uh, this is a life lifeboat kit because I don't believe the ship actually comes with one. Not sure what these are. They may be. Um, I think they might go on to the uh, dead eyes under the. Uh, channels that I could be wrong I'm not sure I know these are what go on the uh, channels under the um, dead eyes so in that case I'm not sure exactly what these are yet so more of those plus looks like some um, oars for the uh, ship a couple of anchors And then some more uh, brass etch. It says it's for the um, Pegasus, but the Pegasus and the Fly are basically the uh, same ship. We have some tiny little blocks, which are supposedly to scale for the cannons. We have some more photo etch, which is um, going to be used. On, to, on the cannons for detail and then we have a laser cut board these are all the parts for um, wooden, wooden car cannon carriages uh, I believe the ones that come in the kit are uh, cast so the fact that they provided the um, wooden version is uh, a lot better I believe it'll be a lot easier to detail and paint and that sort of thing and then they have some uh, rope to use on the cannons for rigging them up. So um, that should add to the uh, final quality of the kit. So I'll just put this away and I'll get out the next piece. Okay, next up we have the Amati Keel Clamper Swivel Vice, which 
which is item number 7382 so uh, bar length is up to 40 centimeters so you could quite easily do an 80 centimeter ship it's actually quite heavy this is uh, metal and the actual bar is able to swivel whichever way you happen to want it to go you just loosen it off and then you can adjust so it'll be good for um, planking even you'd be able to tilt the ship over while you're planking or set the ship in any way you happen to need it to be also comes with a couple of vices if you want to um, attach it to your table but I think just the weight of it should do the uh, job nicely uh, I've wanted one of these for a while so um, this should make things a little bit easier so you can just undo the screws slide your keel in there and uh, it'll hold it nicely for you okay now we'll uh, move on to unboxing the ship okay so now we have the unboxing of the uh, kit itself the HMS fly Turn it this way should make it a bit easier I know it makes no difference but I love the box I think that's uh, really classy it's got a few um, pictures on the side saying um, what it is and yeah as I said even though it says uh, victory models it's made by Marty so put that over there and we'll have a look what we've got but this is where everything is falling out got some uh, ropes I'd say they're the ropes for the um, anchors and then ropes for the rigging it's actually not too bad a quality at all we've got some uh, brass pieces so they fell out of that box more ropes yeah, just a moment I'll just cut that uh, open there we go that didn't take uh, long okay so we have some uh, photo etch pieces but there's only one very thin piece of decoration in that one well, these actually look like some of the parts of it are in the upgrade set so maybe they're just of a better quality more decoration so I believe they it has a fair bit of decoration down the side of the ship and on the stern and then we have some uh, plans this is sheet one which just shows all the uh, parts and their numbers so we'll have to go through at the beginning and name everything I'm actually planning on making this build um, as detailed as I can uh, there's going to be a lot of things that I'll be doing on this that I haven't done before uh, uh, making bearding lines rabbit lines on the um, uh, keel those sort of things so these are the actual um, instructions they're all in different languages should be in English here somewhere um, part numbers there we go English uh, just a bit of detail about the ship uh, 
just says here the kit of the HMS flight is an exact scale model designed in the UK and produced and manufactured by Amati. The kit is based on the original plans as main reference for the hull, bulkhead, and deck design. So it should be reasonably um, authentic. I'll give a list of uh, recommended tools, paint, stains, adhesives. Uh, then we get, they have different sections. This is just on hull construction, first planking, main well position, sink it planking, deck and inner bolt works. Uh, got head rails, cat head, upper rails, rudder assembly, painting the hull below the waterline, which I don't think I'm going to do. In this picture, they show it as white. I'm actually thinking of leaving it as uh, natural wood, but uh, I may change my mind before then, so we'll see. Uh, channels, deck fitting, mast, bow sprit, uh, yards, the rigging. Rat line stays, running rigging, and then an English version of the uh, parts list. So there's quite a few uh, parts in there. Then more instructions showing how we go about building the uh, frame, skeleton of the ship, the uh, decks, different parts. Actually reasonable quality, nice and clear, easy to understand by the looks. It does come with a, uh, a stand. And this looks like it goes up to as far as uh, completing the second planking. Uh, showing how to do the um, uh, stern of the ship. Two. Again, more um, numbered parts. So it's fair bit to go through and uh, number in the kit. Sheet three. More numbered parts. Look like decks, uh, the bulwarks, uh, making the uh, officers' quarters of the ship. Sheet three. Uh, this is sheet four. Just more of the assembly. Yes, yeah, about the um, figurehead. Oops. Figurehead of the ship. How to do the uh, decorations around the front side. So between the instructions and the plans, uh, we should be able to work out everything that needs doing. Sheet 5, how to make the uh, capstan, uh, binnacle assembly, tiller house, uh, ship's wheel, which looks like it's reasonably uh, detailed more of the um, side of the ship there I believe that's probably nearly one-to-one -one scale there uh, four mast bits so like I said I think it's a reasonable sort of quality this is uh, sheet six all to do with um, the layout of the deck where the uh, ladders go um, gratings cannons different things like that how to do the um, rigging for the um, dead eyes hatches for the guns the uh, rudder so quite detailed Well, there's quite a few plans. So this 
is shape 7, which is all to do with uh, mass and the yards. This actually be the fourth, first time I've actually uh, done mass and yards off a plan. I think it'll probably be easier than the Artisania Latina style of off, um, a CD using photos. Eight more mass. Show you how to make the uh, platforms, and they say the type of rigging we need, what size blocks and dead eyes. Shape nine. All about the uh, yards, showing how to uh, make different pieces that go on there. We've got dis uh, diameters and measurements, so that all looks quite easily to understand. Didn't have too many more of these, I wouldn't imagine. So this is sheet 10, more to, for the rigging and rat lines towards the upper mast, how to do dead eyes, how to tile off um, on the belaying pins. So yeah, quite um, detailed, right down to tying blocks together okay, just a couple more more on the uh, looks like the running rigging or standing rigging rather fixing the uh, yards to the mass how to rig the bowsprit Lucky last sheet. That's sheet 12. And then you've got the uh, running rigging. This ship doesn't actually come with sails and I haven't been able to find any so we're just going to be doing the rigging on this one. Because my sewing skills are not up to scratch as far as making my own. more trays the cannons and then as I said the cannon um, bodies which we will be replacing with the upgrade set We've got eye bolts number of uh, blocks and yeah, single blocks, double blocks, dead eyes, they will look like a good quality, and then some smaller ones, they're all going to test my eyes out, got some cleats, that obviously would go on the deck, that's the uh, figurehead that goes onto the um, bow of the ship, We have a couple of pieces that would go on to the uh, side of the stern, I would imagine. And then the next tray. We have parts for the gratings. Again, they look of really good quality. Brass nails, more blocks. Uh, got some belaying pins in there. They're wood, look nice. Oops, dropping things. 
some tiny little bearings more pieces These look like miniature cannons or guns then we've got um, the anchors the actual anchors I don't think they're well they might be metal they look like plastic but I believe the upgrade set had um, metal ones in there we've got some brass wire a couple of brass wires and that would be a decoration that goes on the stern of the ship so that'll be fun to paint couple of pieces of um, dowel there and then we have the laser cut parts I'll just undo that and then I'll be back okay, now we have um, some deck pieces I'd say that's the main deck Let's be very careful with that that is paper thin extremely thin I don't even think it's um, I think it's like almost like an MDF, like a very thin MDF. It's not plywood, but yeah, we'll have to be very careful when we're fitting that. Some more laser cut pieces. This obviously follow the make me the rails at the top around the front of the ship. Some other bits and pieces there. Uh, we've got the uh, bulwarks with the pre-cut cannon holes which um, is much appreciated after cutting a thousand of them on Salil uh, and then we have another deck again very very thin so yeah as I said um, we may actually have to create some supports under that just to make sure it doesn't uh, break Okay, the next pack. Go uh, under the keel, up to the front of the bow. Some more bits and pieces. That's quite a good quality wood there. It's like a almost like a walnut. There's the rudder now we have a number of small pieces of uh, wood again a good quality I see uh, walnut in there a bit of sapley very good quality I won't pull them all the way out. There's quite a few of those. And then we have yards and, and um, masts. Again, really good quality. Yeah, I'd say this would be the uh, wood for the planking. Yes, it's got written there, whole planking which is uh, good, you don't have to um, measure it to work out what's what it's probably about 60 to 80 centimetres long so yet more this might be the second planking maybe yeah, it's definitely thinner yes that's got whole planking as well it might even be that one's for the top half of the hull, one for the bottom half maybe then we've got uh, what's this? this would be for the uh, planking of the hull, uh, planking of the deck sorry so they're quite thin, they'll only be maybe four millimeters at the most wide I like the color of it though uh, 
piece is hidden underneath. So this is the um, keel. So that's roughly how long the ship is. It's not huge. So it shouldn't take me anywhere near as long as uh, the other kits I've got. So we've got some supports and different bits and pieces. That would be for the um, uh, stand. That's uh, an MDF for sure. That's not uh, plywood. Then we've got um, the uh, frames. Actually, probably five, six millimeters thick. So it's going to be nice and sturdy. More of the frames. They're laser cut, looks like it's only held in one position, the whole thing. So not much to uh, sand up. And that, I believe, is the lower deck. So what we're going to be able to do is put all the frames in. While they're all still wet, we can put this in the bottom and then that will hold everything in place. And then we have one side of the stand and the other side of the stand overall it looks like a really good quality good instructions and um, the wood is excellent so this should be a really good um, build and as soon as I finish the Salil Royale which I believe will be six to eight weeks at the most away this will be the uh, kit that I build after that so it should be a nice build and it will be nice to build something uh, a little bit smaller. So I um, hope you, you enjoyed looking at that. I'm looking forward to building it. So uh, thanks for joining me and see you next time. Cheers.